I am going to be fe featuring the brand new Fresh Paint collection from Close to My Heart in today's video. I just want to walk you through it really quick. I do have a full um, walkthrough video that I'll link down below and that has chapters. So if you want to see this in more, in more detail, you can just click on the Fresh Paint chapter. So here's a look at the sticker sheet. Again, a lot of graffiti type um, feel, a lot of icons, and then of course bright colors. And then here is a look at all of the paper. So of course, right off the bat, I'm loving the checkerboard. And then there are some others that I'm really liking, really liking that nectarine splatter on that lemonade, as well as these graffiti hearts. And then I'm also going to use the scrapbooking stamp set, the fresh paint scrapbooking stamp set for some of my titles, as well as the PML cards and then the acrylic shapes. You can see those here. And this will be a one page layout just to kind of show you um, what I'm thinking um, as far as initially creating with this paper packet. And um, I think that's it. I will clear off my desk and we can get started. So I have pulled out this uh, pattern paper. Again, those graffiti hearts, just absolutely love that. And I have printed a photo of our youngest son and um, my mother-in-law and they were in her kitchen. And I just used a comic app where I changed him to a comic. And I know you really can't see um, him, you know, that close up, but I'm also scrapbooking this photo on another um, multi-page spread. So I am taking inspiration from a page in the catalog for fresh paint. And so I'm going to just add some ink distressing to the edge of this Capri water drip or paint drip pattern paper is what I'm calling it. And then if you recall a couple of videos ago, maybe last month, I mentioned how to use busy pattern paper and one of the options is to separate the patterns by cardstock. So I'm actually going to mat this on black cardstock. So to get that Capri piece lined up correctly, I'm going to bring out my Versamat and just get this heart graffiti pattern down on that. And my black piece of cardstock measures nine by 10. And so I want it coming down an inch and a half, and then I want it lined up at one inch over on the left and 11 inches over on this right side. So I'm not going to actually press anything down yet. Just making sure that that inch is correct. So I think that that is pretty close. Looks like I might have a little bit more on there, but I think we're good. And then I'm going to leave this out because of the grid pattern um, of my photos and my PML cards might need to shore that up with my T-Ruler again. So here is how that's going to look. I'm going to wait to do that XO and I'm going to get these glued down right quick. Just wanted to show you all the back side of this. Even though I love this bubble, really loving that one. I'm hating to cover that up, but it just doesn't flow very well with my layout. And then let's work on this XO. And I'm going to just flip my Versamat over and just use that as my stamping surface. I am going to place this PML card just on top of some scratch paper. And from that fresh paint scrapbooking stamp set, I've pulled out this and it's like paint drippings. And then I am using Bluebird which is a darker blue that is featured in the collection. And I am just going to come and I'm going to stamp this right here. 
So this little indention right here where those little paint drips go up, I kind of want nestling around the top of that X. And then I am going to just stamp this part and try to make it look as natural as possible. Okay, so we've got that. I think I'm going to, you know what, let me actually, now I'm going to use just a little bit of this side to color in there. Okay, yes, so I like that. So now I'm going to bring back that layout and get this adhered down and then we can start the embellishing. So I've taken some of the stickers that I really liked and I've put them on my anti-static pouch to take the sticky off so I can add some 3D foam tape to the back of there. And I also want to stamp some of these images. I'm still thinking that just that is just way too light to see. I was thinking about tracing it with my black journaling pen, but I think I like it better just to add some of these stamped images underneath. Truth be told, I could probably stamp it directly onto that PML card and you wouldn't even be able to tell. So I definitely want 24 seven and I think I'm going to do them all in black ink. So we've got 24 seven. I'm leaving a little room over on the left just in case I want to cut it kind of like pennant style. I am going to re-stamp this because I think actually instead of pennants, I am going to tear. So I'm going to stamp far enough from that left edge and far enough from the top and the bottom. So it'll give me plenty of room to tear that cardstock. So I've got that there, so I'm just going to tear it. Since it's white daisy, it's not going to matter if I tear toward me or away from me. I think this will also allow me to add color to this so it's just not black and white by adding some inking around the edges of that. So I have some nectarine ink and my sponge dauber. Yeah, I think I'm really going to like that. And then I think some of those acrylic shapes can go on either side of that. So I have added some 3D foam tape and I want to make sure that it's centered underneath the word awesome. And then I am going to start adding these little sentiments. So you're the best thing I'm thinking might go under here. So the reds are opposite. Always ready for an adventure. I really want up here. Young and free up here as well. And then that other tangerine one or nectarine one, um, I think can go right there and then we can fill in with the acrylic shapes. For my placement of these, I changed it just a tad. So I ended up centering the you, are the you Are The Best Thing down here. And then I put these up next to him instead of my mother-in-law. So always ready for an adventure and young and free. And then since this one was centered and this one was hanging off, I didn't want this one to hang off because it would just look weird. So I put it in the bottom right. And now I can pull out these acrylic shapes and we can start embellishing with those. And there are some other stickers on the sticker sheet that I definitely could do as well. So we've got some smiley faces. We've got just some, I don't know if these are bullseyes. I don't know what they are, but circles against, again, hearts. We have stars, but I think I want to stay away from the stars since there's so many hearts up here. We have these arrows. And then I need some solid things right there. And I definitely want to bring some color in. So let me see. Um... We've got some smiley faces. I wouldn't mind doing smiley faces. You know, that sticker up at the top left is green. 
So maybe a smiley face that's green right here to hide those words. Not really, I stuck that down, but I really didn't press very hard. And then I could definitely fill in with some hearts over here. I love the arrows, you know, it'd be nice to point somewhere, but they're just kind of getting lost in there. I could also pick this up and actually use it as one of those. Let's just stick it to that acrylic heart for right now. I could do that, or I could do a blue one. Or I could even do the smaller blue one. So I'm going to add some 3D foam tape to that. And then we can get that sucker glued down. So we've got green, 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 red, 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 nectarine, 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 a whole lot of blue, a whole lot of lemonade, and then I think I want to put a second heart right by that one. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's how that goes, right? I'm going to put it down just a little bit since that other one was the perfect size because it was smaller. Okay, so we've got that. So acrylic, acrylic, and I kind of need an acrylic up here. So I'm wondering if I should do a red heart. And I'm going to just place it right there. So the thing down there and the thing up there actually is my black sponge that I used to distress that little pennant. Um, it flaked off. So now we got to kind of fix that. So I'm going to just add random little splotches. Hopefully that will get it done. And then also going to add it up here. Again, not ideal, but once I get my journaling, maybe it won't look so bad. So to kind of make this look a little bit better, I like totally ruined this layout by stamping on that. So the only thing to do at this point is try to fix it. So I added that acrylic cart. And then I feel like it needs something over here. So I am just going to write the date. Um, 2021. So I feel like that balances out those awkward little paint splatters right there. And then I think once I journal, these will be balanced out as well. So that is a look at the layout. Again, I just took a photo and I used, um, I'll have to look at what the app is called in case you want to do it. And there's several ways or like 10 different comic filters that you can use. But I just thought that that would be fun. Again, I am scrapbooking this photo in a whole nother series having to do with our summer vacation. So I thought this would be a fun take on that one. I will leave links down below to the fresh paint as well as the catalog walkthrough that I did yesterday. And that way you can look and you can see everything that is now available on my website. I'll also leave links down to my website as well as anything else that I used in this video. If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment and a thumbs up. And as always, if you aren't already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and sign up for notifications so you won't miss another crafty video. Thanks and have a great week.